Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through my entire back workout, um, explaining what I'm doing, giving you cues, um, the exercise selection, sets, reps, all of that kind of good stuff. Basically, just gonna give you uh, exact play-by-play -play on my back and bicep workout that I do every week uh, that I've been doing for months now, honestly. Uh, and you, and the past couple of months since I've been doing my prep, but even before that, I was doing this back workout. Uh, so I've been doing this back workout for at least like three months or more, roughly. But I want to take you guys through it, give you some cues. Hopefully, I can kind of help you, give you some different tips that maybe you didn't think of, um, or I can just help give you some really easy cues that you can use for your own workouts uh, as well. So well, that's what we're gonna do today. But before we do that, hmm. Drinking some tea. I am about three and a half weeks out right now. So tea is an absolute lifesaver in the evening. It's warm, makes me warm. I'm freezing. Um, a little bit of vanilla syrup, sugar-free, of course. Just absolutely money. Earl Grey with a little bit of sugar-free vanilla. Delicious. But before we get started with the video, make sure you please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. If you find this video informative uh, or helpful in any way too, let me know in the comments below and let me know what body part you want me to do next. Um, I could do, you know, whatever sort of body part we could do, like a chest workout, arm specific workout, legs, whatever. So comment that down uh, below. But the reason I'm off to the side is because I'm going to put the workout clips and stuff on the side here. So I'm just going to take you through... Um, each workout, as it were, full. And I'm just gonna sip my tea, and it's gonna be real casual. Mmm. God, this is good. Okay. So, exercise number uno, number one, is gonna be uh, pullovers with a cable. So, how I like to set this up is I'll use uh, either two long handle, um, like two long D handles, that's the handles in the video here. So I'll use two long ones, or as you can see, I have a chain. I use the chain on a dip belt. So that way I can actually pull all the way through to the side of my hip, as opposed to if, when I use a rope, you can use a really long rope as well. But when I'm using a rope, I can only pull so far um, and that's the limiting factor. And I can't get a full contraction on the lats this way. So this exercise here, I do this literally just to warm up the lats and really squeeze and get a lot of blood in the lats. So as much blood as I can. So how we like to go about this, and I'll show you a different angle here as well, is when we're setting this up, the reason I like to use the D handles is because I can put all the pressure on the bottom part of my hand there. I'm not using my forms at all. It takes them completely out of the exercise, but I'm able to lengthen and shorten my lats fully in this uh, particular setup, essentially. So basically what we want to think about here is locking down that scapula before we start and then driving through the elbows and think about pulling from the elbow and just basically pulling that along the side of your body is going to be the best cue I can really give you um, in terms of this exercise. And, you know, I like to pull pretty far back, but you're going to have to feel it out. So go wherever feels comfortable. As soon as you feel like your shoulder lets go, that's too far. Keep it pretty tight. You don't actually have to go that far. Most people don't have the mobility to go super far up on this movement, but... That is gonna be the first exercise. So we're gonna do, you know, three sets to do like anywhere between about 12 to 20 reps. I'll usually do like 20 reps for the first set to really warm up. Uh, it's not really a working set, but we'll do that. And then I'll do, you know, a couple sets to failure around like 12 to 15 reps. So moving on. The next exercise, and this is the only one of the things that I have changed um, about my workout split most recently is that this particular exercise 
is I'm doing it double arm now, where I would normally do this single arm, um, but I just find with this particular machine, double arm works a little bit better. And with double arm, I find that I'm able to maintain my strength a little bit better. So we're using the Nautilus pull down. You've maybe seen this machine quite a bit. It's getting very popular in the industry right now uh, for back and building big lats. It's an amazing machine. I really like the unilateral one of this. This one is not unilateral, you can, but the arms do move together. So hence why I've been doing a double arm most recently. But that being said, um, let's go through the kind of arm path that we're gonna use here. So we're going to be starting with this pull down variation and I find that this gives me amazing contraction in my lats. But again, I'm not letting my shoulder roll up or get out of place. It's always locked in and I'm pulling down through my elbows, keeping the elbow tighter to the body. One of the functions of the lat is adduction. So bring your arm towards the body is one of the functions of the lat. So having your arms actually closer together in a neutral grip, I find is one of the best ways to work the lats, especially if you do have a hard time connecting with your lats. So if you have a really hard time connecting, try unilateral, but in general, I would say try more movements with a neutral grip and having your arm a little bit closer to your body. Um, and you should feel a really good contraction. I find uh, if you're gonna do this unilaterally, you can really uh, almost like <sighs> side bend into it at the very bottom and really get a good contraction in the lower portion of the lat. This whole back workout is really designed to target my lats specifically. I'm trying to build a lot more width in my back and thicker, wider lats. For me, the thickness of my back, especially like my uh, upper back, rhomboids, all that kind of stuff, traps are quite decently developed at the moment. And for the time being, the main focal point for me has just been the lats over the last few months. So I do do uh, one row in this workout, which we'll get to in a second. So moving on, this is our one row. We have the classic chest supported T-bar row. Now, another thing I will mention is that I do almost no hip hinge uh, rowing movements of any kind or anything where my lower body is supporting my upper body for a row. It takes out the momentum when your chest is supported. You're using your back muscles to contract all the way through and you're gonna end up you know, sacrificing a little bit of like, quote unquote, weight on the bar or strength, but realistically you're building a lot stronger of back muscles. And in the long term, you're gonna have a well more developed back in my opinion. And you're also probably gonna gain a lot more strength through the back um, as well. But I've noticed a huge difference uh, just in my back development from switching from everything to being either chest supported or what have you. So pull downs, chest supported rowing movements right now this is the only chest, only row i'm doing but everything that i do normally do is chest supported so no spinal loading of any kind on my back days and i find that also really helps with my recovery from workout to workout so this guy here is going to be one of our more intense exercises for the workout so we're going to be doing one top set um around like eight to ten reps one back off set with a little bit higher reps and then we're gonna do the start with that back offset weight and work into a drop set. So I'm doing three plates here. And then for my second set, I dropped it down to two and a half plates. And then for the third set, we started with two and a half plates, did two plates, and then did one plate um, and just did a whole burnout set on there. Okay, so last back exercise. You don't need a lot of exercises, guys. Make the workout intense. You wanna focus on making each exercise count and each exercise and each movement needs to have some sort of intent behind it. Every exercise that I'm selecting has a specific intent behind it. So I'm not just throwing in exercises for extra fluff or volume. Every exercise has a purpose and then there's an intention of exactly what I'm trying to do with my physique when I'm doing these exercises. So last exercise is gonna be a close grip reverse pull down again. As you can kind of catch a theme here, I like to keep my arms really close to the body and either a neutral grip 
or I don't mind an under hand position. This is the mag grip. So these are really nice uh, on the back. I finally can get a really good contraction with these. And also notice I'm not swinging a whole lot. We're swinging a little bit closer to the end of the set as it gets a little bit harder. But really I'm just trying to squeeze my back as much as possible. And I do lean back just slightly as I get to the very bottom of the, of the pull there. And that's gonna help engage the lower part of my lats and the lower uh, trap area as well, right above the erectors there. So kind of gonna really help bring in that Christmas tree look. And this is just a, pretty much uh, just to kind of pump up the back and just almost like a touch up exercise. So I'm just doing three sets of about 12 to 15 reps on these. No intensity sets or anything like that. This is kind of just almost like my burnout exercise. Um, and I don't mind if the form gets a little bit loose at the last couple reps here. Try and keep it as tight as you can, but having a little bit loose form, uh, you just really try to burn out that back on this exercise here. Okay, so then we have two bicep exercises. All right, so the first bicep exercise we're gonna be doing here is a dumbbell hammer curl. Nothing fancy here, three sets of 12 to 15 reps. And we're really just trying to maintain as much arm size as we can. This is just a touch up on my biceps, just for a little bit of extra frequency and volume for the entire week. Cause I do have an arm day later on in the week where I'll hit my biceps and triceps um, on the same day. But here, biggest thing, try not to swing too much. I like to lean to the side that I'm curling as well to get that good contraction. And I don't like to lean back either and use my back to lift it. I like to lean into it more so than lean back. Lean into the arm that you're curling with and really try and get as much contraction on that bicep as you can. And then the last exercise is gonna be a preacher curl. Normally I would do an easy bar curl, wasn't able to, all the cables were being used, so we just opted for the easy, or the preacher curl, excuse me. But again, three sets, 12 to 15 reps, nothing fancy here. We're just trying to get a contraction at the top of the exercise here and squeeze the bicep as much as we can. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the biggest thing for a preacher curl that you want to main, make sure you're doing is don't put too, don't get yourself too far into the seat where it's like into your armpit, but don't sit up too high where your where your elbow isn't touching the pad. You want to get as much of your tricep on the pad as possible while being able to freely move the bicep while keeping the tricep on the pad so you can maximize the contraction that you're getting on your biceps. So. That being said, that is the whole workout. Nothing too crazy. I like to keep things very simple and just progressively get stronger, more reps, more weight as time goes on. If I stall with an exercise, we'll just swap it out for something similar. Um, but if you like this, give it a try. It's a super easy workout to follow. Um, and again, I'll put the sets and reps and everything on here as well, but give it a try. If you like the video, make sure you like, Subscribe, we are closing in 100 subscribers and we're gonna do a big giveaway um, once we hit that mark. So make sure you subscribe, share this video with your friends and I really appreciate everyone that's been watching and supporting the channel so far and we'll see you in the next one.